Hi, I'm Matt Hornback with Modular Driven Technologies, and today we're going to go over barricade basics. Approaching a PRS style barricade is actually quite simple. All we need is a well balanced rifle and a heavy filled sandbag. We're going to go ahead and go over the top shooting position, which is a standing supported, and also the bottom position, which is more like a kneeling supported. Now, there are a few things to remember when we're working barricade positions. We're always going to want to be connected to the rifle, especially our face. We want to maintain that proper cheek weld and make sure our recoil management is keeping us connected to the rifle at all times. I want to go ahead and make sure that the butt pad has a firm contact spot into the pocket of my shoulder and I'm applying light forward pressure so that the rifle and the barricade are connected as much as possible and the wiggle between the barricade and the rifle is minimized as much as possible. The last thing I personally want is the rifle moving around. What this generally does is it makes it so I cannot see my impacts at distance. And I really need that information to score impacts on that target as well as the subsequent targets. We're going to go ahead and cover the top portion first, since it's usually the easiest to get in and out of. First, we're going to go ahead and start with our rifle in one hand and our bag in the other, about one step away from the barricade. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my rifle unloaded in my right hand and the sandbag in my left hand. Now, starting about a step away from the barricade, I'm all set up. Now what I want to go ahead and do is I want to orient my body to the target at all times. If I find myself canted off to the left or right, that's really going to throw me off and I'm going to have to look for the target. So when I approach the barricade, the first thing I want to do is build the position with the bag. Now I'm going to spread this bag a little bit apart so it conforms to the post. Then I'm going to go ahead and settle that bag and make sure it's not going to fall off and it's nice and stable for me to set the rifle on. When I set the rifle down on the bag, I'm always going to point the muzzle of the rifle at the target. Get as close as you can. That way it makes finding the target and scope a little bit easier. Now, there's two methods to using your support hand. I like to ride my hand on the top of the scope, pressing forward and down, so I can control the wobbles on the rifle. Another method to do this is running your support hand on the side of the rifle and connecting the rifle and the bag, kind of squeezing both of them together. When I have the rifle positioned at the target on the bag, I want to bring my face down and square my body up at the same time so I have good recoil management. I want that recoil to push right into the core of my body so that the recoil path is getting as much resistance on me as possible so I can spot my impacts. Now, when I lower my face to the rifle, that target should be in the field of view of the scope. Now, a tip to this, don't start on max power if you're not well versed in this. Go ahead and back down to about 12 power and then as you get more comfortable with this, you can run up magnification if you'd like. This will help you and cutting time searching for those targets. Now, once I have my position built, I can slowly manipulate the bolt forward and down so I can keep the crosshair on that target and then work on my wind call if needed. When I feel comfortable and the rifle is settled, and what I mean by settled is that rifle wobble is as minimal as possible. If you find the reticle dancing around larger than the size of the target, you need to go ahead and take the extra second to breathe again or take the time to repeal that position and let the rifle settle. When the reticle is nice and rested on the target, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze through and hold the trigger to the rear. I really wanna spot that impact. If I missed, I need to know how, by how much and on what side. And if I hit, I need to know if I'm doing the right thing and I can continue that hold, or I need to go ahead and work in a correction. Follow through is very, very important when shooting positional. We'll go ahead and repeat this process dry firing a few times to really get comfortable with this position. We're going to go ahead and come off the barricade and rework this position a few times so that I can feel what the bag is doing, the rifle is doing, and then go ahead and minimize that wobble zone and pull clean trigger brakes and then practice follow through. All right, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go ahead and load up some live rounds and take a couple runs at our practice target. It's a 10 inch diamond, about 350 yards. It's a pretty generous target. We'll go ahead and work on a large target for practice and we'll go ahead and work to the center of that target. Two impacts, really close to center, pretty happy with it. We'll go ahead and move on to the lower position. Now getting into the lower position, we're gonna go ahead and approach it the similar way that we did the top position. We'll go ahead and set the bag down. Settle the bag, make sure our body's oriented towards the target. 
set the rifle down with the barrel pointed at the target. And when I get down, I like to leave my right knee up and my left knee down. This creates some rear stability by connecting my knee to my elbow. Now, when I come in contact with the rifle, I should be in the general vicinity of the target. And you'll see my elbow come in contact with the top of my knee. When I'm comfortable and the rifle settle, go ahead and run the bolt and squeeze. Now that's one way to approach the lower position on the barricade. The second approach to shooting the bottom portion of the barricade is both knees down. We'll go ahead and restart with our body oriented towards the target. Bag down, rifle, and then now when I'm getting down, I'm gonna go ahead and place my left knee down, my right knee down, and I'm gonna square up about the same way we did with the top position. I'm gonna spread my knees a little bit apart so I have a nice wide stable base. I'm gonna load forward into the rifle just a little bit with my static body weight. Come in contact with the rifle, bring the reticle to the center of the target, run the bolt, and squeeze. All right, we'll go ahead and load up our rifle and take a few rounds at the lower position. Pretty solid impacts. Let's try two knees down. So in summary, we really want to approach every barricade, whether it's man-made or natural, the same way. That way we're as consistent as possible. We really want to be as stress-free and efficient as possible, and that will help us manage time and get rounds on steel. We really want to focus on applying the four fundamentals, especially follow-through. That way we can spot our impacts and our supported positional shooting. A point missed cannot be made in the future, so take the time to reestablish your position if needed, and take another couple breaths to really calm yourself down so you can make the most accurate shots possible.